Hello. <laughs> this is a unprovoked chill stream. Um, yeah. Hi. So I'm in my home right now, and we just got internet today. So I'm like kind of celebrating getting the internet. And I also wanted to play some jigsaw puzzles. I'm really addicted to this game called Illustrated. It's only available on Apple Arcade, I think. And they have some Vincent van Gogh puzzles that I wanted to play. Um, some of them are not yet available, like van Gogh's Latter Years and van Gogh in Arles. We'll see. Let's go for early years today. This is just jigsaw puzzles, nothing like extreme, but yeah. Also, the songs that's playing right now, I think, I, I hope that it's playing, is just like royalty-free music, jazz music, because I can't get the audio to work properly on the stream. I'm just connecting my iPad to my Mac via USB-C. I think I should get like a better outcome if like I had like Elgato or something. But like my not Elgato thing that I got for very cheap is not working currently. So gotta work with this, I guess. <laughs> anyway, no one's here yet. Should I tell like Discord? this happening I guess like there's one viewer is it me am I the one viewer oh my gosh no I'm not hello Ashutosh Dangwal thank you for viewing <laughs> this unprovoked live stream okay so I was planning on making more chill streams for this channel but we'll see okay so Let's go for the first puzzle today. This is view of the sea at Skask. I can't pronounce it. I'm not gonna butcher it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I I don't know if you guys have seen Doctor Who, but that that episode with Vincent Van Gogh makes you fall in love with a man like, you know like it makes you see how tragic of an artist he was i really like that episode no matter how untrue it was it's a good like love letter to the man i guess um at, as always like when it comes to puzzles like this we start with the edges i already like set this up this app this game of that like it will always start me with like the edges because otherwise it will be very hard what is the genre of this game i think this is just like a puzzle game oh, i don't think that's there it's very hard to tell the modern okay so not there this man's like um ex uh brush strokes are very like expressive i guess like because he, he is an impressionist i guess so it should be expressive i don't know where this goes there yeah. nice this part's always tricky especially because like um when you start the puzzle it's it's like in black and white so it's very hard to tell but that's okay I think I don't know. There maybe? No. Ah, I think that's there. Nice. But later on when you get it um when it slowly becomes more colorful, it's very satisfying. I think you should play action horror games in which you can get much more views like i'm not chasing views in this stream i just wanted to like hang out <laughs> so for now we'll see later about the views 
just wanted to like have a chill night celebrate finally having fast enough internet which i should check how how the stream is doing so far Nice, no encoding lag. Awesome, love that for me. Snaps for waiting for the internet. Like it took so long to get connected. Also, it's raining right now. Don't know where this should go. Let me analyze the brush strokes. That's the only way to get through this game. I feel like it should be there. Nice, I was right. Okay. Do you guys like, do you like puzzles in real life? By the way, what do you do along with streaming or YouTubing? That's it. That's my life right now. <laughs> um, outside of YouTube, I make stickers. Um, let me show you. I make stickers. This one's my cat that she currently lives at the office, but I'm gonna get her later this month. Hi, Richard. Wow, Ray, relatively live again? Is it 2019? Hi, Ray. <laughs> yes, I'm here once again. I'm just gonna do like one puzzle or so. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just here to celebrate finally having internet. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, so outside of what to play, I make stickers for my small business. Um, but I haven't been doing that in a while because I moved and I had family um, to get a uh, family get together that was like a lot of mental energy and emotional energy to do it was a fun time with family but you know how like family vacations are never very restful that's how it is um, so are you from Japan and animation no I am I am not from Japan. I am from Philippines and I have a very Filipino face. I think you're just confused by the hair today. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, this is a corner piece. It should be here. Nice. Okay. Um, I get so into this game. It's my current obsession this game. I really like it. Is it there? No. But, yeah, this first part doesn't look like anything. But we'll get there. Slowly but surely. Also, this puzzle right now is very hard to see because it's all very light gray. Uh, there. Okay. But like the edges of the puzzles help. So cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really miss streaming by myself. <laughs> but you know, it's cool. It's cool. But I don't... I, I feel like I strive with really calm streams where I can just talk however I want to talk. And I'm not that pressured with like the difficulty of the game, I guess. But I also really enjoy playing hard games. It's just, I feel like I'm a little bit stupid while I'm streaming. For the lack of a better term. Like, I don't really think while I'm streaming. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. We got there in the end, which is good. There. I like it. I like when there's like some very bold strokes and you can tell where it's really supposed to go. Like that one's supposed to be there. We're getting there, guys. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to finish this. The last one that I did on stream took me like 20 minutes? 15 to 20 minutes? And yeah. And I, the first time I, the first stream I made of this game was on TikTok. Like, just on a whim, out of the blue, no reason whatsoever for doing it. I don't know. Oh, there, there. Okay. 
corner pieces super easy because like you only have four corners and they're very distinctive that one there <gasps> you can see it slowly the edges are almost done yeah it's there oh i'm realizing i haven't really done this side yet there? no ah there sky sky let's see No, there. Nice. So how how are you guys tonight? Are you guys just chilling on a Saturday night? Do you guys still work on Saturdays? Some people still work on Saturdays. Some of some of our office mates work on Saturdays. Some people on like marketing team work. Tomorrow, I think Clarice and Taylor are working tomorrow, but I am not. Oh no! I'm sorry, Clarice and Taylor. <laughs> I think also Juanita, because they're gonna cover um, lit fast for the um, street review. What the place street review? We'll just street review is like the the thing we do on Facebook where we just interview people. The last one was from Nerds Night. It's a local event here in Cebu. That was a lot of fun. Just being able to talk to people in real life about like what they think about games. Really like kind of like what we want to do with what to play but in real life. That was cool. I hope more people know about what to play and like you know, discuss games in there. Uh, had some work in the morning then had lunch and dinner with family I was also working a little bit today to make up for not working tomorrow <laughs> um, I edited some videos today I made sure like the, the video on like whether or not you should buy um, Nintendo Switch in 2023 I made sure that one, that one went up today made the thumbnail and stuff that one was, I was I was scared of making that video I don't know um, I feel like I'm getting challenged at work right now because like I am making more active effort in making the content and I'm making more like main channel videos um, and the things that I do are not like the normal list videos that we that we make about the play it's usually like my thoughts on something and it feels a little bit intimidating you know like sharing your actual thoughts out there especially being known as like the what the switch girl and then in that video i'm saying do not buy a switch this year it was daunting, but that's exactly what I was thinking. And I was like, ah, this is scary. The, the original angle for that video was supposed to be like, should you buy a Switch this year? And then when I was talking to Sunil about it, I mentioned that I don't really think it's a great idea yet. Like, maybe we should wait a little bit before, before uh, uh, until like Nintendo says something about the future console. Because I feel like it's coming soon. Like, I don't... I would hate for um, Tears of the Kingdom to come out without a new console, you know? Because I feel like it's gonna be... It's gonna be held back by the Switch and the hardware. I know that the Switch is doing great for itself. Like, as like a very low-powered gaming console, it's doing really well, but you know... Considering how competitive, com considering how powerful everything is, even like an iPad is these days, like, yeah. <laughs> um, and every day is like Monday for especially students. Especially for students. Ooh, ooh, really? Right now? I don't miss being a student. <laughs> ah, like some of my friends from college are 
taking up master roles and I'm like I don't want to go back to school my dude I like learning but I don't like school I guess that being said stay in school if you're still in, in school like it's good to, to like graduate if it's like something that you actually want to do you know where should you go I don't know let's just like try to see where things go first before I feel like um, for this one I should try to focus on like the bottom part first because I can see more distinctive figures the bottom of the, the, the puzzle um, for opinion pieces like that video, I think it would do well regardless of your stance on the subject. There will always be people that agree and disagree. Great bit by the way. Aww, thank you. I, I'm happy. I'm happy that it was received well by like the subscribers. Like the first, the first few days of the video, at least for what to play, it's always going to be like just the subscribers. And yeah, they're all very pretty positive about it even those that i see like are not quite agreeing with me which is great like not no one's being mean i like that <laughs> thank you <laughs> but yeah, i want to do more i don't i'm fe i'm feeling challenged this is which is great for me because if work is really repetitive I don't do well like I become really bad at it which Sir Neil notices like I, I need to be challenged all the time I need to be doing something else all the time <laughs> nope nope I guess I have to wait that part but the figures if I could find them I think I would know where to put them. If you have any idea or any suggestions on how to do jigsaw puzzles better, let me know. I feel like I would need it, but I'm also just enjoying this. Enjoying this struggle, I guess. I feel like that should go there, but I guess not. It just looks very similar. Somewhere. Okay. That's a hallway. Ooh, okay. We're seeing people now. I think that's there. With the... Is that a horse? I need a horse over here. Horse over here. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes, right now... Oh! Uh, I'm gonna call you Ash ash because i am scared of butchering your name if you're pursuing masters right now congratulations i hope you do well what are you taking <laughs> for master roles um is it hard is it still like in line with your course because like for me because i graduated fine arts major in advertising i could actually go for like almost any subject for masters even like the law one of my friends is going for um, psychology which is great like clinical psychology for her masters that's amazing if I would go mass if I would get a master's degree I would probably pick psychology also but for you Ash what are you taking for masters Also, I have not announced the stream on Discord, should I? I should tell people I'm live. Hang on. And then, <laughs> watch me share a different link again on Discord, like last time. I'm sorry. Okay, hang on. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. 
what to play like. <laughs> there, I'm live on Discord as well. I I don't know if I have links to Discord on this stream. Don't know. We'll see. Raj, Yum Yum, and Rainier would probably pop in if they're online. That's true. I would love to hang out. Especially because I rarely go on Discord also. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, I'll try to be there more. I'll try. Ooh, another person. There you go. The trick is just to find more people and then like build from there, I guess. Nope. Nope. Down here. Nope. Doesn't look right. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, no? I thought that was that. The rain is... It's raining pretty heavily right now. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know what that, what that is. I don't know what that is. I think that's probably like in the middle. Oh! There's words now. Interesting. Slowly but surely, it's all coming together. Don't know what that is. Let's make it, let's wait for it for a bit. <laughs> I feel like this, sh I feel like I tried to use this earlier, but I couldn't get it to work. Yeah, there we go. On a roll. No. I think probably there, but I'm not sure. That's obviously wrong. There? Ooh. Oh, no. Almost done with the bottom layer. I don't know if you can hear our neighbors, they're singing karaoke. It's the weekend, so it's to be expected. Otherwise, they're very quiet. Some people don't like listening to karaoke like that. Sometimes I don't, especially if like, they're very off-key because I'm very judgmental, I'm kidding. <laughs> But I don't actually mind this because I feel like this is them letting their stress out from working so hard the whole, the whole week. So it feels more comforting that way. Or at least that's how I, I like to think about it these days. You know? I feel like that should belong there but it doesn't connect with anything right now. No. Nope. Later, later. Wow, this is I'm I'm having a hard time. But that's okay. I think I should use like a pencil to be more precise about this so I can see the whole jigsaw puzzle as I'm like trying it on in different parts. Mm -hmm. 
where that's supposed to go. I have to like, no idea. No, that felt like that was gonna go there, but I really did not. Okay. That's okay. Oof. Nice. Okay, that felt good. No. <laughs> Okay. Now that like the puzzle is bigger. Ooh. I did not expect it to go that way. Like, that was like pure chance. Ooh. Now it's starting to feel really nice. Jason Yan, Rain, how much longer will you have your braces? Um it's just gonna I think I need to take it off before june for sure before june yes richard hi raj welcome to my chill stream with jazz music <laughs> that i looped because <laughs> i can't get this audio for the game to work the funny thing is i could record the audio using like a computer like my computer can see like this has audio but I can't play it. It keeps getting rejected. I tried and I didn't want to stress about this stream, so I stopped trying. Uh, nope. Nope. I'm looking at the same pieces again and again. Ooh, that one was a little bit unexpected. Don't know still where that goes, but that one. Nope. Don't think that belongs. Yet, oh, we'll get there. I'm positive that we'll get there. No, oh, okay. You didn't go f to Lit Fest? No, I'm not going tomorrow either. Jazz music, there's, there's constant noise going on. I hope it's playing. I haven't checked it. Puzzles that I wanted to play. Um, some of them... It's not playing? Hang on, let me like... Ladder years? I don't know. I'm trying. Like, OBS is saying that my jazz music is playing, but I can't tell. Uh, okay. We'll figure it out when, we, when I get to the office on Monday. <laughs> so for now, let's just listen to our my neighbor singing karaoke with so much feelings right now. Good for them. Nice. I really like how this puzzle feels. Like, it's giving me so much dopamine. Ah, it's so good. Like, especially when, like, you figure out where the piece goes and like, it just goes with color. So good. So, Len, which game you and Neil are going to play on Monday? I can't say what it is. It is playing, but now it's... What? what? Now, but... Is it non-copyrighted? It is not copyrighted. It is royalty-free music that I got from like YouTube directly. Like this sanction, sanction. It is approved by YouTube already. So uh, I can't also say what games we're playing on Monday yet, but the theme is 
um, the games that we played in the past, like old favorite games, maybe that the games that like turned us into gamers. If you've been following what to play for a while, and maybe you remembered some of my answers in the past about like what games made me into like a gamer, you probably know what what game I'm gonna I'm gonna make Sir Neil play. But I don't I have no idea what he's gonna make me play. Still don't know where that goes. Oof. Let's go back to the beginning. Road rash? Prob I don't know. Probably. Don't know. But if there's like a game that I want to play and I'm unable to play, it is um, it's probably like uh, what do you call it? Red Alert 2. I, I want to play it again, but I have no means to play it again. Because it's not like on Steam anymore. Like, it's not, it's still like playable if you really like work hard and get a PC to work with it, but like, it's not easy to play it. I gotta be honest, I like the Monday streams more since it reminds me of the old streams since there's still view, so there's more banter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> especially when it comes to like Sir Neil and I, we're always like bickering with each other. <laughs> You only played three games, Zelda, Hollow Knight, and Doom Steady. No! I play, I'm playing this game too! Look at me, I'm playing a game! <laughs> um, no. I have other games that I like. Although, when I do play a game, I usually just play one game at a time. And then I get really obsessed with it. And then I get bored and I move on to another game. So right now you're watching me get really obsessed with this game. And I feel, but I feel like it's a kind of game that I will get bored with after a while. You know, just riding the high right now while I, while I still like it. Um, this one is, if you didn't know, this one is from, uh, this is, uh, what do you call it? Illustrated. The game is called Illustrated and it's available on Apple Arcade. And I like it because no ads on a mobile game. I feel like it's worth it. I like subscriptions like this. I have Nintendo Switch Online and I don't think it's worth it. Hot take again from the Switch girl. I feel like it's it's not a lot of money but like I usually just have it so I know like my save files are safe somewhere in the cloud like in case whatever happens to my switch I would still have save files you know but other than that I don't really use it that much there's a bunch of old games that I may revisit someday and I have played some of them um, for fun like, maybe I just didn't have a, I couldn't find a game that I wanted to play on my switch or like modern games so I played older titles but like I don't know maybe if they add like um, GameCube games I'm waiting for that. Please have GameCube games on the Switch. I want to play Wind Waker. Because I've never played Wind Waker. I would. Actually, I'm lying. I have played Wind Waker. A little bit. I won't disclose how, but I did, and then I was not having a great time. 
So I wanted to play it like legitimately, you know. Not yet it's time. Let's move on to a different part. Nope. Okay. Wonder if I could try the older part. Oh the upper parts. Oh, that was unexpected. That was cute. That was cool, I guess. Mm. There's like a new thing. So Neil has mentioned it to me. It's called NOS, new oper no new operating system on the Nintendo Switch. And I haven't used it yet. I wanna see like what the fuss is all about with that one. Like a, an operating system game for the Switch. Oh and then Behind the scenes, Sir Neil and I have like a bet on what the next generation console would be for the Switch and uh, for the Nintendo. And what he's thinking is it's probably gonna be like a phone, but a, but a Nintendo console as well. Because Nintendo earns a lot from their mobile games. That's just true with most mobile games because they're freemium, you know, like um, a lot of developers like developing for mobile because, you know, freemium, but I still don't think um, mobile gaming has a good enough, um, not status, but like what people think about mobile games still is like still pretty harsh especially for hardcore gamers like they still don't consider it as like real gaming um but Sir Neil thinks that like Nintendo's probably gonna release a mobile only console for the Switch or for the Nintendo for Nintendo and I disagree not because like I'm back to the facts or anything it's just like I feel like Everyone would hate it. Like, it won't be a good idea for press reasons, I don't think. But who knows? Nintendo is a bit crazy. And <laughs> they, they do what they like because they like it. You know? Like, nobody can really predict what they're gonna do. You know? When the, when the Nintendo Switch was, like, announced, I don't think anyone predicted that it's gonna be a hybrid console like that. Or, like, that it's gonna look like that, it's gonna play like that, you know? That was mind-blowing to me. Oof, especially like the Breath of the Wild trailer, the first one that they made. Uh, not the first one, like the first long one that they made. It's so good. I still watch it every once in a while. It's such a great trailer. I like it. Especially everyone's um, reaction to it as well. So good. Like all of the Zelda YouTubers, it's a lot of fun. I am stumped again, but that's okay. We've been there before, we'll get out of it again. Nope. Nope. I feel like I've tried to put it there before, but it's not there. No. Okay, I want to look for that spot. Mm. This one? Wow, okay. We're getting closer, guys. Closer to the edge of insanity. I'm kidding. Oh, I think I used that one before. 
갈치로 모르겠다. 와. 이 So earlier, like my only clue was like it was all corner pieces. I don't know where it's so, somewhere here, right? There. Yes. I wonder if people speed run this game. Uh, okay. Oh, Rain has changed now. She's not loyal, loyal Switch fan anymore. Now she is denying that she doesn't play three games. But no reply is constant. I remember you mentioned that you're planning to buy an Xbox. Are you aiming to play an exclusive? No, I want Game Pass. <laughs> so I want to get an Xbox this year. Um, I want to get it before my birthday or sometime, sometime this month. I want to get an Xbox sometime this month. One week to your to go for your kara a n my birthday. What are your plans? So I am. Going to Manila with a friend. We're gonna watch Mama Move, um, the Mycon concert by a K-pop group that I love. They're a woman group, I think. <laughs> That's how I would I would call them because like they're all like they're not old, but like they feel very like womanly, I guess. That's the vibe, Mama Move. I know. Rainier likes them as well. Um, that's for that's because you have never played particular mobile games. People have perception that mobile games aren't real games just because manipulative ads. But there are a lot of games in which there's scope. Just a lot of games are awesome. I play a lot on my iPad. I like it. Um, especially no ads ones. That's why I really like Apple Arcade because there's no ads. But um, otherwise, I also play like a lot of free games. I don't want to show you my apps right now. It's just a lot of sensitive stuff <laughs> on my iPad, like schedules and stuff. But maybe I'll talk about them tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. On Monday. I'm so jealous. You're gonna watch Mama Mu. I lowkey stand Solar. Solar is also so, Solar. Solar is also my my main bias. But Moonbill, man, Moonbill. Actually, everyone in that group. They're so good. Um, I first found out about them through Queendom. Uh, Queendom. I watched. Queendom for G Idol. I know Park Bom was there, but I was low key cringing. So I feel like Bom, especially at that time, she w- she just came out, and I feel like she wasn't that ready yet, confidence wise. And it's she she was gonna have a hard time because like she was competing with other girl groups, just a solo artist at the time. So I was just like, I feel like she's she's gonna be so disadvantaged, and I'm gonna cringe from like her being alone, right? Like, oh, she's gonna have a hard time. Is what I was thinking. So I was there for Idol, and then I saw Mama Moo's first performance, and I was like, who are these girls? Like, what are? I was I was like. Looking at them, kind of like criticizing them a little bit, like, mm, who are they gonna be? Like, 
I'm here for my girl group that I like for a day and then Moon Buell came out and I was like I'm switching <laughs> I'm here for Mama Moon <laughs> I'm kidding I still like it that's when I stopped watching Mama Moon um, uh, Queendom as like a, competi a competition more like a celebration at that point Not like I'm here to watch all these women slay like it opened my eyes like it's I'm it's it's not just idol that's gonna slay this it's everyone's gonna slay this and that was very fun now I'm a big moo moo and they're gonna be my first k-pop group that I watch and I'm very excited if you're in Manila you should go if you're able to go to Manila there's Jen ad now and they're worth it because they sing live uh, I can try to prove this baseless statement by so many points mobile esports, revenue generation, profession, partnerships, future plans, evolution, etc. I'm writing an article for the same. Yes, please write. Tell Sir Neil about it. I think he wants to cover that. We've been talking about mobile games behind the scenes at Auto Play, like especially esports. Sir Neil is a little bit concerned about the longevity of esports, like, is it sustainable because currently it is not really that sustainable I'm not well versed in esports so I don't know <laughs> I don't as you guys know I don't really like multiplayer that much I don't play a lot of multiplayer games so I'm not that invested but yeah apparently it's not very sustainable right now it doesn't generate its own money from what Sir, from what I gather from what Sir Neil said, but I don't understand why not <laughs> is what I'm saying, you know? I'm so far but also so near oh that was tag what we call tag hub here in Cebu I did not expect that I feel like no I keep, I keep pushing it to be that but it's not so maybe there no there no There. Oh. I'm a little bit. Um, I kind of regret not going for like the Itzy concert, but they're young. I'll probably get another chance someday soon. Like. But I was like saving up for Mama Moon. When I found out that Mama Moon's gonna, gonna do like a show in the Philippines, like I cannot not be there. You know? Like I have to be there. And in case you come along and you see me out in the wild, come say hi. That would be nice. Mama Moon's still around. I haven't followed K pop in a, in a while. Yes, they're still around, Jason Yen. But the thing is, this is probably their, their last year. I don't know. That's why I, I was, I'm, I'm, I took the chance to see them because I'm not sure if they're renewing after this year, you know? So I might not have a chance to see them again. So better see them now. Maybe here. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're almost there, guys. That's awesome. Also, thank you for being here. Despite this very boring stream. I, I'm not bored. I like this game. <laughs> but I, I could see how it could be boring to watch.
and a little bit frustrating watching me try to figure out where, where puzzle pieces go trying to force it to be where it doesn't want to go but that's okay we'll finish it and we're almost there i think nope don't know where that goes yeah. It's taking shape. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh no. 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 Ah, okay. I'm really impressed by how not very laggy this is <laughs> currently pubg new state esports is going on and give this kid a hello kitty doll set mm, i don't like hello kitty that much i would appreciate good itama <laughs> give me a good itama doll set <laughs> you don't have to give me anything <laughs> That's a little bit of weird thing about me. I don't really like my birthday anymore. I feel like it's just like a a reminder that I'm an inch closer to death every year. <laughs> Which is like I feel like a sad way to look at it, but I can't help it anymore. Like I'm not a kid anymore, no matter how young I look. Like, I'm no longer a child, and I do miss being a kid and being more carefree. Adulting is hard. <laughs> I want to be a kid again. You know, oh my gosh, we're really like almost done, guys. Last two, and we're done. It's so pretty. Not now. Okay, what does it say? View of the sea at blank. Van Gogh made this of the sea in 1882, 1882, <laughs> while living in the Hague. He went from the city to the seaside to paint a nasty little storm. He did a good job of capturing the dark sky and in particular the breaking waves. The effect of furrows and plow land, he wrote to his brother Theo. Van Gogh dashed off the study quickly. He spread the paint for the white crests of the waves on the canvas and mixed. The, the strong winds made painting difficult. Grains of sand were blown to the paint all over the canvas. Although this is one of his first oil paintings. Van Gogh, unique, Van Gogh's unique brushwork is already easy to recognize. It is the only work in the museum's collection from this period and is one of the only two seascapes that he painted in the Netherlands. It is also a significant example of the artist's early painting style. His, high, his highly individual character is already expressed in his artwork. That's so nice. I really want to see the Van Gogh Museum someday. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, uh, aren't you happy that after a week you'll be 15 and soon above 18? <laughs> no, I'm already almost 30. <laughs> I'll be 27 in a week. Right? Yes. <sighs> See at blank, read again. No, I'm not gonna read it again. Also, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Um, I'll probably stream this again soon. I, I really like this. I like this. Super chill. Nice joke. Should we call you Auntie or Tita? Please call me Tita. I like Tita. Yes. <laughs> See you on Monday. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow. Bye-bye.